Hi friends, today we are going to discuss problems on age. This is very scoring topic. But the thing is that you will take lot of time solving this kind of problems. But today I am promising you if you can apply a technique which I am going to discuss right now. You can answer this type of question within a few seconds. So let's see how that works. So the questions on this topic will be like this. For example, at present the mother's age is three times of son's age and after five years or before five years it was like this. So what will be the age of mother after 10 years? So here there are some people like mother and son and some timelines also has been given before 5 years at present and after 10 years taking all this information you have to make a table like this so now there are some blanks like this fill these blanks as much as possible with the information given in the question now you have to use some basic and very simple algebraics on this and the answer is ready so let's look at some examples from the previous years and solve and see how the technique works and how it is easy to answer this type of questions. The question says that at present a mother is three times older than her son. After five years, the sum of their ages will be 70 years. The age of the mother after 10 years will be. So there are two people, mother and son. And there are three time period, present, after five years, then after ten years. Let's make a table. Let's fill this table as much as possible. The first sentence says that at present a mother is three times older than her son. So if son's age is X, the mother's age is 3x. So the second statement says that after 5 years the sum of their ages will be 70 years. So after 5 years the sum of this and this will be 70. So what will be the age after 5 years? The mother's age will be 3x plus 5. Here it will be x plus 5. Now the question is that the age of the mother after 10 years will be. So the age of the mother after 10 years will be 3x plus 10. So if we know the x, we can easily answer the question. But we don't know the x as of now. So we have to solve this x. But we know this plus this is 70. So we can write that in an equation like this. 3x plus 5 plus x plus 5 is equal to 70. It is basically 3x plus x, 4x plus 10 is basically 70. So 4x is equal to 60. x is equal to 60 divided by 4 that is 15. So now we have got value of x. Now we have to substitute this 15 in this equation so it will be 3 into 15 plus 10 45 plus 10 is basically 55 so 55 is the age of the mother after the 10 years so the there is a option 2 so now we got the answer in a simple manner now let's look at another example. Here the question says that the mean of the age of father and his son is 27 years. After 18 years, father will be twice as old as his son. The present age are, there are four options given. There are two people, father and son. Then total year. And there are two timelines as well present and 18 years later so let's complete this table now let's fill this table as much as possible 
The mean of the ages of father and his son is 27 years. If the mean is 27 years, the total will be 54. That is the 2 into 27. After 18 years, father will be twice as old as his son. So if the age of the son after 18 years is x, then the age of the father will be 2x. So we have to find these twos. Before that, let's fill this blank. This blank will be 54 plus 18 plus 18. Here the total is 54. After 18 years, we have to add 18 for son and 18 for father. So this will be basically 90. So 2x plus x. Here 2x plus x is equal to 90. 3x is equal to 90. x is basically 30. So the father's age will be 60 and son's age will be 30. This is after 18 years. So at the present we have to deduct 18 years from here. So it will be 42 year and it will be year 12. So at present the father age is 42 and son's age is 12. If there any option like that, yes. The option A is basically that only. So if you can put all this information in a table like this, it is going to be very easy to solve these questions. At last, let's look at another example. This is little bit complicated. Still, we can solve it very easily if you apply our technique. So the question says that at present a person is four times older than his son and is three years older than his wife. There are three people here. And after three years, the age of the son will be 15 years, the age of the person wife after five years. Here there are three timelines as well. So let's make a table based upon this information. Father son wife total the timelines are present three years five years let's complete this table so now let's fill the blanks at present a person is four times older than his son so if son's age is x the father's age is 4x and three years older than his wife so we don't know the age of the wife, let it be y. So the father's age can be 4x or y plus 3. That what we mean by 3 years older than his wife. After 3 years, the age of the son will be 15 years. It is basically equal to x plus 3. So now we have to find the age of the person's wife after 5 years. So we have to find this value. We don't know why. But if we can fill the blanks as much as possible, then we can easily find out. So from here, the x plus 3 is 15. So basically x is 12. So if x is 12, 4x is basically 48. If the age of the father is equal to 48, or y plus 3 then y is basically 45 if y is 45 then y plus 5 is basically 50 so we can easily get the answer so the answer here it is basically 4 so if you get all this information from the questions into a table like this half is done now we have to make some simple basic algebra and use it then answer is ready.